Vernon Rattan Electric for supplying and installing three 50 horsepower F, excuse me, VFDs and one 40 horsepower VFD to be funded from Series 2006 revenue bond proceeds. This is a fiscal year 2014 to 15 budgeted item. Move to approve. Second. Roll call, please, Jay. Dee Dee Patterson? Yes. Jerry Howe? Yes. Terry Thomason? Yes. Chris Anson? Yes. Bill Wantland? <clears throat> yes. Susan Hammond? Yes. The motion passes. Do I have a motion for adjournment? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Those opposed? If we can now call to order the Seminole uh, regular city council meeting. Roll call, please, Jay. Terry Thomason? Here. Susan Hammond? Here. John Kramer, Bill Wantland? Here. Gary Howe? Here. Dee Dee Patterson? Here. Jeff Griffin? Chris Anson? Here. Shane Fisher? Here. We have a quorum. If we could please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God. Jesus Christ, often. Amen. O God, whose mercies cannot be numbered except our prayer of thanks for the city of Seminole and all our people. Let us love one another, for you, God, are love. Amen. Amen. Next, I had the opportunity to, to speak with Steve and as well as our fire chief. Um, it is not often sometimes that, that we get to actually see an act of heroism. Um, when you're a firefighter, a physician, or you work in the public, when you have the uniform on, there's a certain expectation that, you know, you know what to do, we expect to see your job. But sometimes that occurs when you're at home, and in my eyes, that's when you see a true hero. The people that run towards a situation and are cool and calm enough to, to think of what to do for a positive outcome. Um, both the chief and the city manager and myself have gotten together, and, and tonight I would like to uh, present uh, Sergeant Rob Wilson of the Seminole Fire Department with an award from the city for meritorious conduct as well as of a medal of honor for his ability to save a life. And for you, thank you. Please come forward. Can we hmm? can we elaborate a little bit on that for the public? Well, can I? Since well, you you're can, probably I mean, the tough down. part, I was there. I'll let you just what was in the newspaper. I'll, I'll let you elaborate. Because legally, I don't think I can. We had a a very very young person, I think, in the neighborhood of two years old, uh, who was distressed and uh, had. Uh, unfortunate encounter with a zip tie and uh, Rob went to, and aided this uh, child uh, stayed cool and calm and uh, uh, saved a life it was a pretty neat deal so we're proud of him I think he's taking a little ribbing from his friends here I'm surprised they didn't break out into wind beneath your wings <laughs> serenade here but uh, he deserves he deserves some recognition, and we're really proud of him. I'm sure of that. Thank you, Rob. Consideration and action of consent agenda. Move to approve. Second. 
Roll call, please, Jay. Terry Thomason? Yes. Susan Hammond? Yes. Bill Wantland? Yes. Gary Howe? Yes. Edie Patterson? Yes. Chris Anson? Yes. Motion passes. Are there any appearances or petitions from the audience for the city council meeting? Under approvals and acceptances, ordinance number one, consideration and possible action to approve ordinance number 1168 and ordinance rezoning 130 Oliver from R2 industrial to C2 commercial as recommended by the planning commission. Talk to us about this a little bit, please. I'm sorry, I didn't hear Talk you. Talk to us a little bit about this. Okay. Years ago, I believe the building was uh, home to the signers. Uh, the property was home to the signers building where they did some refurbishment of some of the uh, pink laundry type equipment. Uh, this this man has purchased a piece of property that was, used to be attached, but uh, now it's been separated through a legal and has built a new commercial building and uh, they intend to operate a commercial operation out of that. Thank you. Who to approve? Second. Roll call, please, Jay. Terry Thomason? Yes. <clears throat> Susan Hammond? Yes. Bill Wantland? Yes. Gary Howe? Yes. Edie Patterson? <clears throat> yes. Chris Anson? Yes. Motion <clears throat> passes. Resolution number two. Consideration possible action to approve resolution number 2014-13, a resolution approving grant funding of $1,557,000 from the Federal Aviation Administration to fund a runway overlay at the Jimmy Austin Seminole Regional Airport with budgeted matching funds of $86,400 to be funded from the general fund CIP. Moved to approve. Second. Roll call, please, Jay. Terry Thomason? Yes. Susan Hammond? Yes. Bill Wantland? Yes. Gary Howe? Yes. Dee Dee Patterson? Yes. Chris Anson? Yes. The motion passes. Current business number three, consideration possible action to approve allowing construction of a gate across a partially vacated alleyway in the 800 block of Park Street between Russell and Strother as requested by Greg Babb and the Staley family. Mr. Mayor, one of the things that we want to ask uh, as far as the city staff is to make this contingent on access by any utility providers. If you choose to, to go ahead and allow the gate, we'd like to ask that you make that you know, conditioned upon uh, access by the city and any other utility provider. I, because I understand in that alleyway there are poles and telephone poles, electrical. That's right. Uh, yeah. Apparatuses. Just, just a little bit of clarification. Half of the alleyway has already been vacated. So really all we're doing is giving uh, permission to cover half of it, the other half. The, the mission is uh, the family dollar will be constructed there on the corner of Strother and Milt Phillips. The concern that the citizens in the, in the area had was foot traffic coming through their yards. Mm -hmm. And so this gate would alleviate their their concerns and that's why the staff is okay with it contingent upon the utilities having access at all times contingent upon the utilities and the city having access I would move approval second roll call please Jay Terry Thomason yes Susan Hammond yes Bill Wantland yes Gary Howe yes Dee Dee Patterson yes Chris Anson yes motion passes Number four, consideration of possible action to approve the contract for community expansion of nutritional assistance grant, contract number 2014-15 CENA fund 32 in the amount of $5,000 to assist the city with insurance coverage for the Heritage House and the Senior Citizens Bus. Move to approve. Second. Roll call please, Jay. Terry Thomason? Yes. Susan Hammond? Yes. Bill Wantland? Yes. Gary Howe? Yes. Dee Dee Patterson? Yes. Chris Hansen? <coughs> yes. Motion passes. Number five, consideration possible action to approve the contract for community expansion of nutritional assistance grant number 2014-15 fund 31 in the amount of $500 to assist with purchasing food for main dish lunches at the Senior Citizen Center. Move to approve. 
Second. Roll call, please, Jay. Terry Thomason? Yes. Susan Hammond? Yes. Bill Wantland? Yes. Gary House? Yes. Dee Patterson? Yes. Chris Hansen? Yes. Motion passes. Number six on the addendum consideration possible action to approve designating Friday, October 31st between 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. as trick or treat night within the city of Seminole. Does Chris Hansen have an objection to that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think. Are they playing football that night in town? No. They're out of town? I believe, I believe it's a way game. We looked at that. Uh, I think we're going to make everybody happy this time, so I think we should just leave it on Halloween myself. Anybody else's? I'll make that a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Roll call, please, Jay. Terry Thomason? Yes. Susan Hammond? Yes. Bill Wantland? Yes. Gary Howe? Yeah. Dee Dee Patterson? Yeah. Chris Hansen? <laughs> motion passes. Under reports, city manager. Yes, sir. Uh, one of my bosses slipped up and uh, let me find out that he had a 50th birthday. So, uh, in honor of Mr. Gary Houck, I've we've brought some <laughs> cookies to celebrate. Uh, be sure everyone pick up a cookie and wish Gary happy 50th happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Uh, I apologize. I didn't get to. I think we've got a new news reporter. And do you mind giving us your name? My name is Shahara Riffle. Shahara Riffle. All right. Welcome. We're glad to have you. Mr. Gates, did you have anything you wanted to? Are you, are you here as part of the chamber? Yes, sir. Okay. Excellent. Thank you guys for coming. All right. Uh, Hall of Fame banquet will be November the 20th. The shrimp boil that was scheduled on Saturday, September 27th, has been canceled. Uh, we have a new member on our staff, Zach Davis. Uh, you will eventually become more and more familiar with him. Uh, he is our new GIS mapping technician, and we're excited. Uh, already, some of the things that he's produced for us in his first week and week and a couple of days are remarkable. So we're looking for great things from him. Um, the splash pad has been shut down uh, as cooler weather is upon us in the next few days we're going to go ahead and close this the splash pad unless the city council has objections to that i think we're ready to go on it um, i wanted to say urban renewal has been very active uh, i think you get reports in your in your packet but uh, I'm pretty excited about some of the things that they're uh, helping with. As you know, uh, the Family Dollar site uh, was one that the Urban Renewal Authority helped prepare, and uh, I think they're going to do a lot more things. Uh, I think they're they're looking at uh, constructing one building and perhaps uh, helping alleviate some of the parking issues that we have downtown. So. If you get a chance, uh, pat them on the back and give them some encouragement to keep going. Um, Tourism Council meets in the morning. Uh, one of the things that they will be pondering is uh, whether or not to offer incentives to hotels to construct in Seminole. Uh, the thought process is very similar to our tax increment finance district in that they would be considering rebating a tax that they collect up to three years if you if you build uh, 50 or more units so uh, it's exciting I think there's definitely a market we've been approached by several uh, companies to build new hotels in Seminole and they're somewhat surprised to hear that we don't have incentives that other rural communities have been offering them so uh, hopefully the Tourism Council will take that <coughs> that's all I have City Attorney Susan Hammond, Ward 1. Nothing tonight. Bill Wantland. The only thing I'd say is, <clears throat> and I think we say it every time and need to say it every time, to all of the city leaders and employees, thank you for all that you do. We very much appreciate it. I just came back from Illinois, and all I can say is the heart of America is uh, small towns, and the uh, Headquarters for small towns is Seminole. <laughs> Birthday boy. 
I feel the same. I, we have a very excellent set of employees and staff, and the town has some very good citizens to allow us to be able to build the splash pad, the quads, and you know, just just all the things we do. So, thank you very much, Terry Thomason. Other than to say congratulations to our firefighter, Mr. Wilson, on a job well done and an award that was richly deserved. I have nothing else to offer. Award for Chris Anson. I have nothing. Dee Dee Patterson. One more time, I'll tell you, every time we call upon your employees, Steve, they're first there and they're great in what they do. We really appreciate them. You let them all know that. Thank, Thank you, you on their behalf. Any other remarks? Can I have a motion to go into executive session to consider impossible action for statute 307B4 confidential communications between a public body and its attorney concerning a pending investigation, claim, or action? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Don't forget to grab a cookie. <laughs>